California salon owner welcomes a Trump intervention on the growing homelessness crisis after the president accused the state of incompetence and insisted they should, politely, ask for his help. Elizabeth Novak said she would welcome Trump's intervention in homeless crisis. The salon owner said in August that she was forced to relocate due to problem. Her remarks come just a day after Trump hit out at New York Gov. Andrew Cuomo and California Gov. Gavin Newsom for their state's homeless problems. If their governors can't handle the situation, which they should be able to do very easily, they must call in politely, ask for help. The president tweeted his tweet came after it was revealed that the number of homeless people in California increased more than 16% in 2019 alone data shows that more than 140k people are now without shelter on a given night. Furious locals have taken extreme measures to combat the issue including placing boulders and large logs outside their homes and businesses by Valerie Edwards for DailyMail.com published, 1931 Greenwich Mean Time, the 29th of December 2019, updated, 1500 Greenwich Mean Time, the 30th of December 2019 A salon owner who claims she was forced to close up shop due to California's homelessness crisis says she would welcome a Donald Trump intervention after the president accused the Golden State's governor of not being able to handle the problem. Elizabeth Novak released a video in August saying that she had no choice but to relocate her salon after 15 years because she often found people camping in tents across her front door. She described how the problem also affected other long-standing business owners and that her shop had been broken into. Novak, who also said she was attacked once, recalled how she would often have to clean up urine, feces and use needles left by homeless people on her doorstep. In a Sunday morning interview with Fox problem in August, Novak, left, released a video saying that she had no choice but to relocate her salon after 15 years because she often found people camping in tents across her front door. Novak also said how she would often have to clean up urine, feces and use needles left by homeless people on the doorstep of the salon center. In a Sunday morning interview with Fox and not really doing his job, our president is going through a highly illegal impeachment process and he's listening to us more than our own governor and, I say, bravo, President Trump, Novak told Fox. Her remarks come just a day after Trump hit out at New York and California for their tremendous homeless problems which are setting records. In an early morning tweet on Saturday, the president slammed the governors of the two states, New York's Andrew Cuomo and California's Newsom, if their governors can't handle the situation, which they should be able to do very easily, they must call in politely, ask for help, the president tweeted, would be so easy with competence, when asked if she would welcome a Trump intervention, Novak responded, absolutely, her remarks come just a day after Trump hit out at New York and California for their tremendous homeless problems which are setting records. The president also took to Twitter on Christmas, threatening to get the federal government involved in the crisis because Newsom is doing a really bad job. Trump was referring in his tweet to California Governor Gavin Newsom, left, and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, right. DailyMail.com has reached out to Cuomo and Newsom seeking comment. Saturday's comments from the president marks the second time in the last week that Trump targeted Newsom for criticism. Trump took time out from his Christmas Day festivities to blast the Democratic governor of the nation's most populous state for failing to adequately address the state's growing homeless crisis. In a Wednesday tweet, Trump threatened to get the federal government involved in the crisis because Newsom is doing a really bad job. Trump's tweets came after the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, released data last week revealing that the homeless rate in California has surged a staggering 16.4% in the past 12 months. Now, more than 140,000 California residents are without shelter on any given night, accounting for more than a fifth of the entire homeless population across the United States, Newsom, who only took office this year, appears to be blaming the Trump administration for the escalating crisis, he was seen on camera last week, stating, there, the Trump administration, not serious about this issue. They're playing politics with it, expect nothing but division coming and emanating from the folks at HUD and the president, data released last week revealed that the homeless rate in California has surged a staggering 16.4% in the past 12 months. An encampment as pictured in Los Angeles more than 140,000 California residents are without shelter on any given night, more than a fifth of the entire homeless population across the United States a man living in a homeless encampment in Santa Rosa, California is pictured with his dog earlier this month conservative commentator Tommy Lahren posted the clip to her Twitter account last week and added the comment, take accountability, Gavin.
This is your state and you and your Democratic cohorts created this mess. You can't blame it real Donald Trump forever. Step away from the hair gel and get to work, Trump then retweeted Laren on Christmas afternoon, before adding his own threat to get the feds involved in the state. Governor Gavin N. has done a really bad job on taking care of the homeless population in California. If he can't fix the problem, the federal gov will get involved. Meanwhile, the recent study from HUD found that homeless rates are more prevalent in Democrat-controlled states. Blue states, such as New York, Hawaii, California and Washington had the highest rates of homelessness per 10,000 people. States with the lowest rates of homelessness per 10,000 people are Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Virginia and North Dakota. The HUD report found that California was not the state with the largest percentage increase in their homeless population. The number of homeless people in the state of New Mexico increased by 27% in 2019. A Christmas food bank set up for homeless residents in Los Angeles is pictured on Sunday. Blue states, such as New York, Hawaii, California and Washington had the highest rates of homelessness per 10,000 people. The above January 2017 photo shows a homeless man sleeping on a subway platform bench in New York City, San Francisco, as well as other California cities, have undergone a homeless crisis that has permeated in day every day and affected thousands of people. A homeless man sleeps on a makeshift bed made of cardboard pieces in San Francisco. Meanwhile, furious residents in California have been taking matters into their own hands, fed up that the state government appears to be inadequately addressing the crisis. In Oakland, business owners recently put large logs over their streets to deter homeless people from setting up camps, residents of San Francisco place boulders on the sidewalk to stop encampments outside their doors. Meanwhile, the city's Tenderloin District is a particular grievance for residents who want to clean up the area. The Tenderloin District hosts addicts and homeless who reportedly leave behind human waste, as well as used needles. The city set up public toilets in an attempt to combat this and last year the formation of the Poop Patrol, a special six-person team tasked with cleaning up the feces around San Francisco, was announced. San Francisco also funded an initiative to hire people to collect used needles off the street. Advocates said the boulders, pictured, which were eventually moved by city officials due to road safety safety hazard, was it anti-homeless architecture, several homeless residents at an encampment on Martin Luther King Jr. Way in Oakland, California The San Francisco City Performance Scorecard reports that there are 9,784 individuals that meet the federal definition of homeless in 2019 rising 30 percent more than the 2017 count. Jeff Kasitsky, the director for the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing, estimates that 20,000 homeless people reside or pass through San Francisco any given year. Even with the rise of the homeless crisis and residents calling for action, only 5 percent of the city's total budget is used to combat homelessness. The city has faced government and federal criticism in addition to resident outcry. Trump visited California in mid-September and subsequently unleashed a very public condemnation of San Francisco's homeless crisis. The president blamed liberal policies for the crisis and said city officials were allowing waste to filter through storm drains leading to the ocean. It's a terrible situation that's in Los Angeles and in San Francisco, Trump said of the issue at the time. He has since made homelessness in major U.S. cities a campaign issue going into the 2020 election. Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson, pictured, rejected a housing aid request from Newsom and mayors from the state's 13 largest cities. The Environmental Protection Agency also accused the state of California of failing to protect residents from degraded water. A letter to Newsom from Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Andrew Wheeler, reads, California needs to fulfill its obligation to protect its water bodies and, more importantly, public health and it should take this letter as notice that EPA is going to insist that it meets its environmental obligations. If California does not step up to its delegated responsibilities, then EPA will be forced to take action. The letter directly linked the alleged water pollution to the homelessness crisis. Although the Trump administration has told California to clean up its act, they're unwilling to pay for it. Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson rejected a housing aid request from Newsom and mayors from the state's 13 biggest cities. The request asked for additional resources to fight homelessness, including 50,000 housing vouchers for the poor. Carson said, your letter seeks more federal dollars for California from hardworking American taxpayers but fails to admit that your state and local policies have played a major major role in creating the current crisis, Carson implied that California's law enforcement policies, over-regulated housing market and sanctuary city policies are the root of the problem. Read more. Let's block ads. Why?